Hello, in this short video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can get your uh, online form uh, with your web hosting package with us uh, to submit to your email address. So included in your web hosting space will be the tools tab as you probably already noticed and then you'll come to this page and what you're going to see here is um, some example code. It's already been populated with your authorization key so all you need to do is just copy this code here, you just select it with your uh, cursor and you copy it. Control C on a PC will do that. And then you go over to your page and you find your uh, contact page. I'm going to scroll down here and find, I'll just switch over to split view. And I'm going to scroll down, find my form, and then just switch over to. Uh, code view and you see that I've actually already gone and placed my code in here but uh, this is about where you would place your code you will probably always have a form tag here and there may be a second one if yours you're using an old form from a front page uh, form and it'll probably have something here and it probably look like webbot or something along those lines uh, and that would probably exist up here in any case um, the code that you paste in would overwrite all that and then you're left with um, this new code here where it submits to the authorization key and then you have a couple of optional uh, uh, parameters here you can tell it exactly where to redirect to once it's been submitted so yourwebsite.com slash thank you so it has to be an absolute URL also the subject you can optionally set what the, uh, the email subject is um, form submission and you can also set which field to use an email address of the person that's sending it. So for example, somebody fills in this form and they type in their email address and you can actually have the response that's sent to you um, appear as though it's from their email address. So you just copy that name of the field, which is called user email, to the email from. It's a slightly advanced technique. I, I would not uh, recommend um, trying that right off the bat. Um, but that's how you go about doing it. And then there is one other thing that you can do, and that is to uh, add in an email address to send this email, uh, form to. By default, it will use the email address that is attached to the account for this web hosting space. So, what if I want to add in, what if I want to make it different, it's like me at mysite.com? So I hit generate, and you'll notice, watch this up here. Here we go, we have another field. So we can copy that, copy, and then we switch over to our editor, and we just paste in here that email. But you know, you can actually add in more than one. How about uh, you at yoursite.com? Generate, and you notice it's gonna add in a second one here. And this is just example code. This is not adding it directly to your web page right at this moment, but it's uh, showing you how it should look. And you can just copy that code again, and then punch in here and um, and there we go we've got a second email address but if you don't have any email addresses uh, placed in here um, it will just use your email address from your account but as soon as you put one in here it will only use that one email address unless you put a second one just like I've done here and I'd use that second one as well. And that is all there is to setting up uh, your form page so that uh, it can use the, uh, the submit form handling application from server apps and uh, just save your page and publish it out. 